um, video about home fragrance. I just did a review and haul on the candles that I have that I've recently purchased and are burning in my house right now. Um, but I wanted to share with you guys something else that has added on to my obsession with home fragrance and that is tarts. Okay, so if you guys don't know what tarts are, I'm definitely going to fill you guys in with this one. This one. Okay, so let's see. Anyhow, I found this out from one of the YouTubers here on YouTube and I'm going to put her link below because she's amazing. I love her reviews on, on tarts and candles and stuff. So what, if you don't know what tarts are, tarts are little wax, um, wax things like these and they're scented and you put them in a warmer and you warm it up on a candle warmer and it throws throughout your whole house. It scents your whole house. About Kim's tarts. Yay! I absolutely love Kim's tarts and I've actually placed a really large order with her company and my package came. So what I'm gonna so what I got from Kim was a whole bunch of stuff that I'm gonna go over with you and just tell you guys the kind of scents that I got from her. But first I'm gonna talk to you guys about how to warm these. So I got this little handy dandy warmer right here it just looks like this it has a switch like this this my friends was only five dollars so of course I went back and I bought four more there's at Michael's which is a great deal because I was searching for warmers online and they all started from like $12.99 up and I went to bed and bath to get a warmer and that was like $14. So I kept on looking and kept on looking and I came across this in Michael's as I was shopping for This is amazing. Um, so I have one in each room and in the living room. Um, and then I got these little tart pans like this. They look like this. And I got these from Bed Bath and they cost 60 cents each. I just thought this was better than getting the warmers that you have to put the tea light underneath. Um, my husband doesn't like, he doesn't particularly like when I burn candles because of the smoke and the soot that comes off of the candle wick. So I've been kind of trying to compromise with him and I found this option instead. And I actually like this option way better than candles. I'm going to continue to burn candles, but I'm definitely going to do ah, the tarts more than I do candles. So let's get started with what I got from Kim's Tarts. Tarts by Tart Candles by Kim.com is what it's called. Okay, so when I ordered from Kim, these took about two weeks to get for, get to me. And um, that was really long for me because I was so excited. And I was like, when is my candles going to get here? When are my tarts going to get here? Because I got everything else. So I was just waiting for my tarts to come in. Anyhow, it just comes in like a regular flat rate box. And this is how it looks. As you can see, I ordered tons of them. And they come like this with a little ribbon on it and it's three there's three that comes in it and it's a dollar fifty that's right I said a dollar fifty for three and these are about one ounce each okay so this one that I burnt was the birthday candle and um, this one's done already but I've burnt it for probably eight hours so like an hour here two hours there three hours there I've warmed it on my warmer and it lasted for a total of eight hours for one ounce so I can just tell you guys that that's a long time for a tart and it scented my whole house the throw was instant and it was amazing it was so strong so I have two more left and I got birthday cake and this smells exactly like a birthday cake with lots of frosting on it I love birthday cake. I love everything birthday cake, so I definitely have to try burning this one first. So I have to say, like, in total, each bag will probably give you 24 hours of scent of warmer, on the warmer. Okay, so that was birthday cake. Um, she did give me a couple of samples, too, which was so nice of her. Thank you so much, Kim. Um, I don't know her personally, by the way, but in case she does see this video... So I got three cents, three cents to sample from her, and this one is Downy. It smells exactly like the Downy. This one is called Cool Citrus Basil, which I will probably end up ordering because it's a very fresh, clean smell, and it's strong, which is what I really like. So that's that's a really good one. This one is called Rain. 
Um, no, I think it smells more like downy. But it's called Rain. Maybe it's different when I warm it. So those are the three that I got to sample. Um, the next one that I'm pretty excited about was the Plumeria one. I haven't burnt this one yet. But this, uh, the more I smell it, the more it smells like the Yankee Candle Plumeria. Um, when I first got it, I have to tell you guys, I didn't smell Plumeria at all. I was like, this does not smell like Plumeria at all. I'm just sticking to my Yankee Candle. But the more that I smell it, and the more that the box gets to air out, because I think all the smell is just kind of, it's just overwhelming in the box, it started to smell more like Plumeria. So I think I'm going to burn this one next and, and see how that goes. So that was Plumeria, Day at the Spa. And that one's white. And I love all things spa. So this one smells very citrusy. I can smell lemon in this. What else can I smell in I don't know if it smells like the spa, but no, I don't think it smells like the spa. <laughs> it smells like lemon. I might be way off, but it doesn't smell like the spa to me. So I don't know about that one. We'll see. That might be a good bathroom one. Ooh, this is a lavender one. Let's see what this one smells like. This one doesn't. I can smell the lavender, but it's so like faint. Not so much lavender, so not very strong on the lavender side. I'm bummed because I really like lavender. I like I like lavender a lot. And I can only smell a little bit on that one. Okay, so that's the lavender one. I'm super excited to get was the bedtime bath. And they said this one was the complete uh, uh, dupe for Johnson & Johnson's bedtime bath, the purple bottle. And I do. I kind of smell that. It's not very strong, but I do smell smell it a little bit. And the thing that's me is I'm a huge bedtime bath Johnson & Johnson's fan. Like, I have the huge bottle of lotion because I just love that smell. It doesn't smell too, too powdery like the baby stuff, but it does have a good lavender mix in that. I don't smell. Um, yeah, it's not that strong, but it does smell like it, but not that strong. Um, next is Chanel number five. Yep, definitely smells exactly like Chanel number five. And I let my my aunt smell this the other day and she has Chanel number five and she said it's it smells exactly like Chanel number five. Next is the monkey munchies. Oh my god. Okay, so I really ended up liking mm, this smells so good. That's what it smells like. Like banana taffy. But it does have like a caramel smell and a sugar smell in there too. Which is so the next one is oatmeal, milk, and honey. This one was not a dollar fifty. This one I believe was three dollars because it's one of her more popular ones. So that's why it was like one of the best sellers. And I think I'm gonna burn this one tonight to see why it was such a big. It's a number one. I definitely smell the milk, the oatmeal, and the honey. And this is. It's very soothing and relaxing. I, I think this should be named Day at the Spa versus the Day at the Spa one because it's super relaxing for me. And I actually really like this one. To my surprise, I really, really do like this one. I'm going to burn this one tonight. So that's the Oatmeal Milk and Honey. And this is supposed to be the exact dupe for Victoria's Secret Love Smell. And yes, it is. It smells exactly like... Love Spell from Victoria's Secret. One next one is called Passionate Kiss. I haven't even opened this one yet. But this is supposed to be another Victoria's Secret one. Oh my god, that smells so good. Oh, Passionate Kiss, you guys. It's so it's sweet and very... It smells so good. This is definitely another group for Victoria's Secret Passionate Kiss. It smells exactly like that. Okay. Pink sugar cookies um, was recommended by one of the gurus here on. It's alright. It's not that. It's not all that everybody's making it out to be. Next is Dirty Dancing, and it comes in this like gray green color. And I like Dirty Dancing. 
This is such a unisex smell. It reminds me of Yankee, Cand Yankee Candles Midnight Blue. And so sexy. I really like this. I think my husband will like this one when I start burning this. It smells like a sexy man. Like a sexy, sweaty man. Like, what's his face on Dirty Dancing? God, I know his name. I just can't think of it right now. Next is the Hollister Malaya. Malaya. I don't know how I have to say that. Mm, it smells so good. Very fresh. Very sexy. It does remind me when every time I pass Hollister, I will smell them. I'm like, oh, it smells so good in there. And this smells like is that. Gardenia. Gosh, just bear with me. I know there's a lot here. I really, really love Gardenia. And this, ex this smells exactly like it. So I am so happy that Kim got this right. Because if she jacked this up, oh my gosh, I don't know what it would have done. I've smelled a lot of gardenia smells and candles and stuff, and they never really hit it on the nose, but this one definitely does. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. The gardenia and plumeria definitely got my vote on Kim's chart. Oh my god, you guys! This is one of my favorites. And this one's called Twilight Woods. So it's the exact dupe for... I love this lotion. I have everything Twilight Woods in my house and this to add to it. It smells so good. It smells exactly like the Twilight Woods lotion. This is cool water. So, you know, like the cool water perfume for men and women. It smells exactly like it. Next one is the Amber Crombie and Fitch one um, perfume by, and it's Fierce. It's exact dupe for Fierce. Can you tell I bought a lot of Wow. Wow, this one smells really good. I'm gonna burn this one. This one smells exactly like the Amber Crombie perfume or cologne. Wow, I'm so shocked. Really, I really am. Oh, that smells so good. I think this is actually one of my favorites. And last but not least, Hawaiian Breeze. I have to get the Hawaiian Breeze one. Just cause I like, this might be one of my bathroom smells. Ooh, this smells so good. I smell coconut and pineapple. I basically smell Hawaii in this. It smells like a lei, like a plumeria lei or an orchid lei. It smells like a lei. And I really love it. And she really got that. My review on Kim's tart. I'm putting her link below. You guys need to check her out. It's so $1.50 for three, which will probably give you eight hours for each one. So go crazy, go bonkers on her website. She's really nice. And um, that's it for now. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.